Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you my morning routine on my second day off of work. I like to mix up my routines depending on how I feel for the day, and today I feel wide awake and energized. Part of my routine in the morning is cleaning, but that will be a separate video for later on in the month. So remember to subscribe and click the notification bell, and towards the end of the video, I will tell you about what next week's video will be. So keep on watching. Part of my routine is exercising. Normally I like to do a tough workout in the morning and then a light exercise at night. But yesterday at work, I did a lot of heavy lifting and shoving. So I kind of consider that my workout or my heavy workout and my arms are very sore after moving everything. So I decided to turn on one of my favorite YouTubers, which is Boho Beautiful. And I'm going to do one of her workouts. Um, today we will be in the Amazon, which is where her video is placed at, and I don't show it on here, but I also uh, visited two other countries as well, and all from the comfort of my home. So one thing I really enjoy are all of the beautiful places in the world that they visit. I would love to travel like they do, but I actually don't have that option to. But someday I hope to travel across seas for a while and be able to spend a couple months in a different country f for a while. But for now, I'm going to live in the moment through their videos. And their videos are so addicting and relaxing. You definitely have to watch their videos. Just to let everyone know, this video is not sponsored. I just really enjoy watching Boho Beautiful's videos and wanted to share some information about their YouTube and what they do and also the products that I use in this video are also not sponsored I'm just using them for the first time to see how they work and see if I actually would want to continue to use them after my workout I like to wash my face and I have a new product that I want to try it is a small sample from Ipsy and for those who don't know about Ipsy I-P-S-Y, you pay month to month or you can do a yearly pr uh, subscription to receive five products and a nice little pouch from them uh, to try. And your first time using them, you can get a really good discount. If I can find it, I will link it in the description box below for you to try. I have this facial exfoliator device that I like to use. I only put two drops of the gel cleanser on the brush. After getting my face wet, I will use this in a circular motion all over my face. And this gel isn't really sudsy, which kind of threw me off, but trust me, it's doing its job. And there isn't a time frame for how long you have to wash your face with this device, but I did it for about two minutes um, because the non sudsy gel kind of threw me off. So after I'm done cleansing my face, I will rinse all of the gel off. The next part of my facial, I am trying out a new product from one of my favorite companies. I will be using from Alva Botanicals, a Hawaiian detox warming mask. You're supposed to put this on dry skin. And let me tell you, this takes forever to put on because you have to rub it in for a little bit for the warming part to work. After I get it on, which took about 10 minutes to do, I let it sit for 10 minutes to work. And then I'm able to wash everything off with warm water. During the 10 minute wait, I like to dry brush as well. Not only is this good for your circulation, but also good for exfoliating. And in case you don't know what dry brushing is, you take a hard bristle brush and you work upwards towards your heart. You do this all over your body in an upward motion. Now this will hurt a little bit, but not that much. I do like doing this before I get in the shower so I can wash off all of the dead or dry skin. And I will usually relax in the shower for about a half an hour. And in my next video, I will show you some recipes I make for the shower. So yesterday's video, I gave myself a manicure and today I'm going to give myself a pedicure. If you have small feet, you can use a bowl, 
but for me, I have long feet, so I grabbed a casserole dish. Rocks are optional, but I like adding them in because I like to use them as a kind of like a massager on the bottom of my feet. And I also put in baking soda for two purposes. One is good to get rid of the stinky feet syndrome, which I don't have. So I'm using it as a cleaner and a relaxer. Next, I put in some Epsom salts. I do have two different kinds, but I'm actually going to just choose the lavender one with all the essential oils already mixed in. Now, if I just had the original, I would just add my own essential oils in it. I love watching the bubbly fizzing reaction that happens between the Epsom salt and the baking soda. It's kind of cool to watch. So next I will stir everything together and then add rose petals in. You don't have to actually add the petals in. It's totally optional. I just did it because I wanted to. Now if you have a red rose, you can actually make a nice oil out of, which I will show you how to do that in another video sometime. And next I will add hot water. I really like using hot water because it's really relaxing to me, but you can use whatever temperature that you're more comfortable with. I do like doing this sitting in front of the TV because I like to watch one of my episodes of one of my TV shows while I soak my feet. I usually soak for about 45 minutes depending on how long the episodes are. And while I'm soaking, I decided to watch The Good Witch, which the new episodes just came out and I wanted to begin the next season. And I really love watching a feel-good, relaxing TV show while I'm soaking. While I start gathering my items to give myself a pedicure, I make a little mixture where I mash up three small strawberries and take a fourth of a lemon and use all of the juice and then take a little bit of honey and mix everything together. You can actually chill this in the refrigerator while you let your feet soak, which is exactly what I did. Or you can just let it sit on the counter at room temperature. Next, you'll want to take two things of saran wrap long enough to wrap around your feet and tie together. The easiest way to put this mixture on is to put half of the mixture on one side of the saran wrap and then put the remaining on the other side. And make sure when you put this saran wrap around your heels of your feet that the mixture covers everything on the heel to help soften your calluses and make your feet baby soft.
everything is tied and put together, sit and watch another one of your favorite TV shows. So I'm actually going to watch The Good Witch again for another 45 minutes. And after the show is over, carefully take the saran wrap off and put your feet back in the water for another 45 minutes and watch another one of your episodes of your favorite TV shows. The water actually looks really disgusting, but if you prefer, you can wash them off in the tub first. I didn't actually want to do this um, because I didn't want to stain the floor, so I just stayed on the couch the whole time. And after 45 minutes passes by, I used the pedicure item and started to rub off the dead skin um, from the calluses on my feet. And the mixture ended up taking away my calluses completely on my left foot because they were I didn't really have that bad of calluses. But on my right foot, however, only about half of the calluses were gone because it was a little bit worse on that side. There's no estimated time of how long to actually do this process for. I just chose the time of how long my TV show was for. And after I give both feet a pedicure, I put a special foot lotion on. You can either put socks on with this or just let it air dry. I ended up just letting it air dry This was actually a three to four hour self care day of relaxing. I enjoy doing nothing on my days off and do all the housework inside and out on my work days. In my next video on Friday next week, I will actually show you what my daily routine is like during the work week. I actually work third shift and have to get my son ready for school, do house chores, sleep, and so much more. And thirst shifters, you will totally understand all of this, but I will show you all of my planning for the week as a bonus video. So get ready for two new videos coming out next week. And if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe and click the notification bell to get the bonuses for next week. Oops, I guess I just gave my secret away. I have three videos coming out next week. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope everyone has a great week. Bye!